Hey everyone! Welcome back to Osmer Kids! Today I'm super excited to bring you this Japanese candy kit. We're gonna be making Super Mario gummies. How many of you guys love Super Mario? It's a classic. The back of the bag has the instructions. It also lets us know that there's a couple different backdrops we could possibly get. I can't wait to get started. Let's open it up. First, let's check out the backdrop. Ooh, it looks like we got some sort of underground cave. Spooky. Here's the gummy flavor packets. We have red, which is grape flavor, yellow for pineapple, orange for cola flavor, and green for apple. We also get a paper spoon, a pipette, and here's all the molds. It's a little bit hard to make out. <laughs> Whoops, duh, it's because I had it upside down. There you go. It's still pretty hard to see. Hmm, I got an idea. BRB. There, that's better. So first we have to pour the powder into the molds. I'll use orange for the brick. You want to give it a little tap tap to flatten it out. And then pour more powder if you need to. All right, let's try yellow for the gold coins. Red for Mario. Let's move on to green for the mystery box. I'll also use green for spiny. Orange for Bullet Bill. Yellow for the star. Orange for Blooper. And I'll make the bottom blocks green, yellow, and orange.
and to drop in some water. That's what's going to turn it into a gummy. All done! Now all we have to do is wait for these to dry. In the meantime, let's check out the paper spoon. The front has instructions on how to fold it. That was easy! After 30 minutes, your gummy should look like this. we can just push them out. Nope, that was a fail. Plan B. I'm gonna use the paper spoon to carefully lift it out. That's working much better. And here's Mario! Time to set up the scene! Mario better watch out or he's going to get hit by Bullet Bill. Well, this was a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and please subscribe to watch more. Thanks! Hey everyone! Awesome Kids here! And today we're bringing you this Make'em Do-It-Yourself Japanese Candy Kit. With this kit, we can make mochi balls and water drop cakes. Can't wait to give it a try! Let's take everything out, and then we'll begin! Here are some plastic bags, and a spoon. We can create a bunch of cool toppings. We get a few packets. Here's a black one. A green one. A blue one a pink one, and a red one. And here's the tray we'll be working with. Let's start by making the mochi balls. We'll need to fill water up to this fill line. So pour one scoop of water into tray one. And then pour the entire black packet into tray one as well. Now just give it a mix. 
and we got a fluffy white mochi. Put this on a plate and let's cut it in half. Shape them into balls. Let's make a smaller one using this half. And on to the next step. We'll need to use tray one again, but only filling water up to this line. And then pour in this pink powder packet. Give it a mix. And here's our strawberry flavored mochi. Let's use the strawberry mochi and make some of these toppings. Just give me a moment while I do that. Alright, time to use tray number two now. Pour water up to that line. Add the red powder packet. Mix it up again. And this should be the red bean flavor. So let's add some of this to our mochi bowl. Put a strawberry decorative on top as well. You could use two halves to make a full strawberry. And that looks delicious! Okay, moving on! We'll need one of these plastic bags now. Open it up and pour the green powder packet. We'll need two full scoops of water. Make sure you seal it tight and start mixing it with your hands. After a while, it should start looking like this clear jelly. Cut one of the corners, and you can squeeze it into this straight, this straight, and these four cubes. So let's go ahead and do that. Add some red bean flavor. Top it off with some more water drop mixing. For this one, we'll add some strawberry toppings. Nice! We're almost finished! Now let's use this blue powder packet. Pour it into a plastic bag. Two scoops of water. Mix it up like we did with the water drop cake. And now we got a light blue mix!
once the trays are filled, refrigerate for five minutes. That looks good. Hmm. Let me make some smaller mochi balls. And it's time to decorate. Let's put this on top of the larger mochi bowl. Add strawberry toppings. Excellent! Now get these cubes out. Put it on a plate. What a tasty looking dessert dish we're making! The red bean paste and mochi balls will go well with these cubes. Can't forget a strawberry topping! And here are the two water drop cakes! These look so pretty! I don't want to ruin it, but it's time for me to eat these! See ya!